the best, 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 best. 24 mil box. Well, <laughs> welcome back to some more moronic mumbling from a fool in his untidy shed. Obviously, this is part two of my little day in the shed, which turned into two days because I couldn't find my 24 mil socket. I know I've got one buried over here somewhere because I bought one about 30 years ago to take the gearbox out on an R65. I shot down to uh, the local Ripco store where they charge a, a uh, small ransom for a 24 mil socket. Paid the money and I'm ready to go. Let's get started. Should be good for that. Right. Uh, Okay, so all I needed the socket for was to turn the motor over and find top dead center. So if I turn it over in a in a clockwise direction, looking at it from the front, and then <clears throat> the exhaust valves have just opened and closed. Now the Inlet valves are opening and they're coming up to close and so that'll be getting close to top dead centre and to find it exactly I could pop open the, the rubber bung down here and look at timing marks and things but uh, they'll do it old school and stick a stick down here and see what we can find and that's on top of the piston coming up and up and up just went over so we just jiggle it around a bit till we get it right on the top and so long as you're about eight degrees you're good so here we have some gaps let's see what is it 0.1 of a millimeter on the inlet 0.15 on the exhaust four and six thou in old money not overly loose but they're not tight either which is a good thing the same goes there so you might tweak them a bit do you want to put an oily thing on the seat do i so let's put something over there in case i'm tempted to again there we go so now i need a, a smallish screwdriver so simple old school stuff of Simply loosening the lock nut and adjusting it up from there. Good. The third hand would be handy. Uh, so um, I have decided to obviously, because this is part two, put this up on YouTube after all. Not as a how-to, because you know I don't do them. I leave them for the clever buggers. More as a public service. <laughs> Because if anybody is upset about their own shed and how messy it is, have a look around, boys and girls. It can't be worse than this. As I said last time, there's lots of good shit in here. But sometimes it's just a matter of finding what you want when you want it. I guarantee that when I finish this, I will find that 24mm socket I bought all those years ago. I am absolutely convinced that I will. Oh, it's starting to rain out there. I suppose it's got to be better than the ice on the windscreens we've had for the last few days. They always manage to either loosen up or tighten up as you nip this thing up. That one's beautiful. And that one's beautiful. Right. Right, that's the exhaust side done on that one. Like I say, there's all sorts of good shit in here, including an old BSA down in here somewhere. I wonder if I can take this fella and uh, try and show you. Okay, so down there is the front wheel of that BSA. It's a B33, if anybody can tell me 
what's unusual about that front wheel I'll send you a free sticker <laughs> you're all good in the hood okay Peter Jackson, step aside, son. <laughs> well, when it's coming through, we've got the exhaust valves sorted out. Like, fucking, you've got to respect these people that do real how tos. Faffing around, you do with cameras and stuff just for a silly little video like this that I'm doing. Come on. Yeah, there we go. That's that's not bad, but it is a little tiny bit loose there. A little bit tight. A little bit loose. A little bit tight, a little bit loose. We'll go for that. See if we can tweak it there. Nice. Feel a nice bit of drag there without it being tight. Now you can't get the fuel gauge in. It's one or the other, isn't it? Lovely like a duck. Happy with that? We shall put that side back together. So, a half hour job, which I knew was going to stretch to an hour because I was going to try and film it, turned out to be a two day job. So, Mr. 24mm socket, you can reveal yourself now, jump out of the crap and show me where you are, because I know you're there somewhere. Now we've got an o-ring in here, so I'm just checking that. Make sure it's in pretty good nick and convince it to go on like so. Here we go. Then we get the <laughs> a bit of plasticry. Gotta have your plasticry, make it look good. And then put these back in. What do I like about this bike? Well, where shall I begin? I like the looks of it. That is what. Um, I fell in love with one thing led to another. I love the feel of a twin, um, especially a big twin. Like all good twins, the faster you go, the smoother it gets. I love the way it handles. Those Brembo brakes have saved me more than once when idiots have pulled out on me and that sort of thing. So yeah, as much as I love the sound of a twin, the feel of a twin, I love the sound of a single, the old Beezer over there, or any single for that matter, and the feel of a single. Triples, you gotta, you got to love the bark of a triple, don't you? And then you get to the smoothness of a four. Well, you can't beat that either. So, you know, you could give me a Vespa and I'd be having fun. So, that's the um, the valve clearance checked on that side. i just got to do the same on the other side. I won't muck around with filming that. And Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. And Agnes is your second cousin, twice removed. All about the look. Uh, mind you, she's a pretty powerful little beastie for a twin. It's a stupid statement, isn't it? And you get the likes of the Ducatis and all that sort of thing. And the Harleys with all their talk. But she's got enough power to make me happy. The manufacturer claims 110 brake horsepower. And they say it's the highest powered air-cooled production motorcycle. I don't know whether I believe that. That's forgetting that it's got this humongous air cooler down here. So, hey, what do I know? Um, 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 spark plug, spinner. There's the spark plug, there's the start. One straight in front of you. I'll use that, eh? So, hand tight. I'll nip it up. Come on. Good girl. So, I decided to leave the camera going because because I'll start it up <laughs> and we'll hear it sing. It sings in Italian, you know. Oh, solo mio. I won't be giving up my day job or my night job. Somebody's home. Maybe it's Mr. Burglar again. We haven't had a visit from him for a couple of years, the bastards. Popped it down securely. Oh, come on, little fire in. See, I'm terrible at keeping my bikes clean. I'd much rather be riding, to be honest. I do try to keep them reasonably clean because I do firmly believe that you 
get to know your bike and you get to see things on your bike or for that, for that matter any machinery that you're operating by keeping it clean and tidy and as an old locomotive engineer once said to me many many years ago when you're checking things over you're looking for what's not right because what's wrong will be obvious so you're looking for things that are not right um, put her skirts back on There's a long one that goes at the front, I do believe. Right, t'other side. Not so much light over this side. Okay, somebody just stopped. The GoPro up there. Right, might um, put you in a different place. See what we can come up with. Get a load of this. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.